Hey there scientific brilliant people, how are you? So today I am going to discuss the theory of an experiment. The experiment is to find the relative density of a solid which is lighter than water. So I am going to consider the solid as the cork which is a part of the plant, right? dead part of the plant. The cork is actually a wood only. right? So I am going to show the cork over here with the help of this red ball. So this is cork and this is sinker. So as the lecture proceeds further, I will tell you what is sinker and what is its role over here. So first of all, I am going to need a, a spring balance and spring balance would be connected with the uh, cork with the help of a very thin thread and the weight of the cork in the air will be measured and that weight is W1. So W1 is the weight of the cork in air already mentioned over here. Now what am I going to do is I am going to take a thread and I am going to attach it at the bottom. Then I am going to connect a sinker. So sinker is basically a piece of glass cylindrical or a square no a rectangular uh, sorry cuboidal piece of glass and glass is heavier than water. So since it is heavier than water uh, it is going to uh, sink inside the water. Now why do we require a glass sinker? It is because uh, if we want to apply this Archimedes principle then uh, the substances must submerge inside the water or the liquid and the liquid will exert the buoyant force. But since the cork is lighter than water it is not going to submerge. So we need to make the cork submerge inside so I am going to connect a piece of glass like this. Right. Now what do we have is, so I would like to again rub this otherwise the people will get conf confused. It is because the W1 is the weight of the uh, cork only in the air. Right. So now this setup I am going to lower it inside the water such that only sinker is going to go inside and the cork is going to stay above the water. And under this situation if I measure the reading of the spring balance that is W2. So W2 is the weight of the cork in air and the weight of sinker in water as mentioned over here. Now again I am going to lower this inside the water such that the cork also goes inside. So as you can see when the cork ball say the volume of the cork ball is V. Right. And when it submerges inside because the sinker is going to drag it in, you see that there is some amount of rise in water level. This is entirely water people. This container is full of water till here this marking. And now as this wooden cork ball goes inside, there is a water level rise. And this water level rise is called water displaced. So this amount of water, this is called water displaced and this water displaced has also volume V. We know that V is the volume of the cork ball and same is the volume of the water displaced. Correct. And if I want to find out the weight of water displaced, weight of water displaced, this weight of water displaced is itself called buoyant force acting on this ball in the upward direction. We have already discussed this in the Archimedes principle. You can just log into my channel and find out the details about this one. Correct. Now in this setup say the reading is W3. Now this reading W3 means weight of the cork in water and the weight of the cork in sorry weight of the sinker in water. This is what I have mentioned over here. Now people just imagine that if I subtract W2, W3 from W2, so weight of the cork in air and weight of sinker in, in water is common. So weight of sinker in water is going to get cancelled from both. So what am I left with? Weight of cork in air minus weight of cork in water. Now people I would like to make a point that this is nothing but the buoyant force of thrust acting on this ball. Let me call this as B. So this buoyant force itself is equal to W2 minus W3. Did you understand that? Because weight of the cork in air minus the weight of the cork in water is equal to the buoyant force acting on the water. Correct. Now let's move on to the next slide and try to find out the relative density 
with the help of these experimental values. See, if you are doing this experiment, you are going to have three values W1, W2, W3. With the help of these three values, I'm, I need to find out the density of the cork, right? So, let us first of all apply the formula for relative density. So, relative density of cork is equal to density of cork divided by density of water. Of course, I am not going to write down at 4 degrees Celsius, it does not matter. Right. Now, density of cork is equal to mass of cork upon volume of cork divided by density of water. So, which water? Here we are doing an experiment and this water is the water displaced when the cork goes inside. So, that is equal to mass of water displaced upon volume of water displaced. So, I am just going to simplify this, multiply by this goes up volume of water displaced and mass of water displaced. Volume of the cork and volume of the water displaced are same as discussed earlier because the cork goes in same amount of water, same uh, volume of water goes up. Now, I am left with mass of the cork upon mass of water displaced. I am going to multiply up and down by g. So, this becomes weight of cork in air because m into g is the weight of the cork in air upon this is mass into g of water displaced. So, this is the weight of water displaced people. And as discussed in the previous slide that weight of the water displaced, weight of the water displaced is equal to the buoyant force and that is equal to W2 minus W3. So, here weight of the cork in air is W1 divided by this is buoyant force and this is in a simplified way equal to W2 minus W3. So, we come to a very important conclusion people that relative density of a substance. So, relative density of cork over here which is lighter than water that is equal to W1 upon W2 minus W3. W1 is the weight of the cork in air. We have experimentally found it out with the spring balance. W2 is the weight of the cork in air and the weight of the sinker in water. And W3 is the weight of the cork in water and the weight of the sinker in water. These three experimentally we know and you substitute the value and you will get your answer. So, why do we require a sinker? Because the sinker as it goes inside, because it is more denser than water, so it is going to sink and along with uh, it, it is also going to drag our cork piece and cork piece cannot go inside. That is why we require the cork to get submerged and then from there we can find out the buoyant force and all other things. So, people hopefully you enjoyed the explanation and please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubts, please do comment in the comment section. I will be back with this experiment very soon. Thank you for watching the video.